Yeah. Just know, for those of you who are watching in YouTube land, you're more than welcome to pause the video at any time, work it on your own, and then see how you do. Now, in this problem, I would move the 12x to the left so I could keep my coefficient of x positive. How about you guys? Did anybody do that? Mm -hmm. All right. Now, if I'm going to move it to the left, I might as well go ahead and move my 10 to the right. Do you all agree? So now I have 15x on the left side of the equation equals what? Negative 5. Negative 5. It does not matter what's on the other side of this equation. How do you get x by itself? Divide by the coefficient, right? Does it matter what's over here underneath my thumb? No. This coefficient is what matters. So I divide both sides by 15. You all right? Yeah, X equals, let's see, I've got a negative divided by positive, so that's negative. 5 over 15 have a common factor. They have a common factor of 5, so it reduces to what? It's one third. Do you all agree? If you made a mistake, hopefully you understand where the mistake came from. Now, in terms of checking this, checking means I'm going to replace my x with my proposed solution of negative one third. So instead of writing x's, I'm doing parentheses and I'm going to plug in negative one third. Are you with me on that? So I need to see, are these two sides of the equation equal? What's three times negative one third? So negative one plus 10, does this equal five? Negative times negative is positive. 12 over three is four. Nine does equal nine. What do you think? Does that check out okay? Now, notice when you check, you're just checking to make sure that the left and the right sides are exactly the same. Nine is not your answer. What is your answer? One third. Negative one third. Negative one third. This may be a stupid question, but. Don't how ever do you preface a question like that. Positive times negative is negative. Three over one, so the three is reduced to give you a one. One times one is one. <laughs> All right, how about this guy? If I have seven x minus eleven equals three x minus eleven. Did you guys start shouting numbers? <laughs> 72! Negative 150th. We need to get the x's to one side, right? right? So if I do that, I'm gonna, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna subtract 3x. That's the way I'm gonna roll. Is that okay? Yeah. But if I move my x's to one side, I've gotta move my constants to the other side. So add 11 on the left and on the right side. What do I have on the left side of the equation? Oh, 4x. 4x equals what? Zero. 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 How do I finish getting x by itself? You divide by 4, so x equals what? So zero divided by four is zero, right? Why wouldn't is it be undefined? Huh? Why wouldn't it be undefined? Why wouldn't it be undefined? The time that you have an expression that's undefined is when the denominator is zero. Oh, sorry. What this means right here, this is saying I've divided something into quarters and I have zero quarters. And quite literally, I have zero quarters right now. Okay. 
I need, are you going to give me some money? Let me, turn, let, me, let me stop recording before you give, try to give me any money. Okay. Um, zero is a real number. It's, it's an answer, right? Like, what is the percent chance, realistically, that the Astros are going to win the World Series this year? <laughs> zero. How many complete soccer games am I going to watch in my life? <laughs> zero. <laughs> it is a real number. <laughs>